Hey guys, uh, it's been a while uh, since I was working on my Akai 625 reel to reel, which uh, gets blown about half a year ago, but I've been busy. I didn't have much time. So what's really happened uh, in the part one, if, if you watched it, uh, I found that the uh, diet, which has been installed somewhere here, are uh, goes blown it's not not disconnected it's, it gets uh, short right and 36 volt got uh, into transistors and i replaced this transistor uh, to restore 18 volt supply here but then like i stuck for quite a while uh, and i was trying to look uh, i replaced couple capacitors i was playing with transistors and like i was getting ridiculous values uh, of the voltage readings from the power supply and I was stuck to understand like uh, what really was happening and what was wrong because whenever I do I still get like uh, 18 volts where it should be 12 or like uh, all other measurements were way off so what's what happened why why really this model I have written the internet the 625s they blow quite a lot Okay, it all gets exactly the same problem. And the root cause of this problem is that uh, the ground wire is disconnected here. So I'm installed as a short, as you may see right here. And what's happening, uh, ground was getting from here to here over the screws and over the chassis, right? And as, uh, screws get oxidated over time, uh, the ground connection became loose, and whoopsie, we have a problem, all right? So I highly recommend you to unscrew both the screws, uh, which connects this board to these posts, and clean everything up, deoxidize, and put them back before some, anything bad happens to your 625. Okay. Now I will assemble everything back and we'll try to see if it's finally will start work. See you soon. Okay, everyone. And here is the test. I just turned power on and I'm already seeing like at the start right wheel turns. And now you see it finally works. Uh -huh. Yeah half a year <laughs> all right now i will clean everything up assemble and i will replace the lights here i like to make it brighter and i will enjoy my deck for the next time frame because i very much love it thank you see you bye bye okay everyone so finally everything works i'm also replacing the lamps with leds but they've been deemed same as the bulbs because I believe bulbs was not original already. So I'm adjusted the power. It was six volt, and I'm increasing the uh, Schottky diode with nine volts. So it is get like eight and a half volts of the transistor. And you see the now light is warm and bright and looks pretty neat. So that's the tape I didn't use yet. So I got it used and I can just roll it back and forth to make sure it will wind and like uh, uh, has it been sitting there for a long time. So it will be our uh, unstick, all sticky places if there are any. So, so far everything looks good. And coming to the zero on the counter, that should just stop as I use the stop mode here on this green button so let's see <coughs> i'm so happy that it finally works again uh, it's been half a year since i didn't use this deck Okay.
it's been just a little bit overshoot so but you've seen it did pretty good job stopping the tape all right now i will load it and see if it's work all right as you may hear it works so it plays some recorded music on this tape i would not use too much time so google would not block me for that so now i'm glad that this like uh, 36 volt didn't do any harm to the logic to the control board so just replacing a couple parts and if i would know early that this uh, ground connection is not so stable i would prevent it so i highly recommend you do uh, this preventive maintenance work before it gets burned on your decks so thanks for time hope this will help you and enjoy the music bye bye well guys i found one more issue and like it's like uh, fast forward the rewind uh, always have heads touching the tape and I just like dissolved the transistor tier 25 from the control board and it's not transistor anymore. So it's uh, 2SC2130 and it controls uh, power plunger. So I will replace it and I hope this would be it. See you soon. Okay guys, just to explain a little bit more. Uh, so this electromagnet it just gives impulse like uh, to to lock it in place for pause and like uh, when transistor is dead it was engaged all the time and let me show you so as soon as I engage play it goes down and if I click stop it never was going full up because like it was not releasing this magnet and it was keeping it here uh, just this magnet was releasing a little bit and these guys were not fully going down and tape was touching heads in the fast forward rewind so now we see play goes up fast forward they goes fully down and stop they fully down okay fixed and uh, it was this tier 25 on this board and i replaced it with bd139 it's more powerful like twice more powerful and it works pretty well because that's the one i had all right and this uh let me find it here it's right here tier 125 and that's a post plunger and as soon as it gets short post plunger was working all the time all right fixed <laughs> 